What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This video is going to be about how you guys can use AI to create designs within seconds. I have two free sources that you guys can use. One, you can also pay for to get way better results or you can just use them for free. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, for the first AI, we're gonna be using Mage Space. This one is really good and it is 100% free. Now there are paid versions as you guys can see here but you don't even need to buy them. You can just stick to the free one. So go ahead and go to this website and it'll look something like this. Now, before you do anything, you guys can go down here to view options and there'll be a bunch of options before you go ahead and generate your art. So first off, you got model here, which this is the paid stuff I was telling you about. Just stick with the free one. Now down here, you guys can change the aspect ratio. So you got cinema, which is 16, nine ratio, landscape, square, tablet, phone. Now what I've found is these different ones can create some problems like duplicates of people or whatever. A bunch of weird stuff can happen, but square seems to be the best, but it just depends on what you guys are trying to do. And that's not always the case. So you guys feel free to use these other ones. I'm going to stick with square right now just because it works most of the time. Now we have quality. So quality is pretty self-explanatory. You guys have the option of 25 steps or 50. So you can just read this if you'd like. 50 steps is going to take a bit longer, but I'd say it's worth the wait. Now we have guidance scale. And basically this is how strict the AI is to what your prompt is. So if you're like a person sitting in a car and you choose very strict, it will most likely be someone sitting in a car. But if you choose free, it might be someone sitting on the roof of the car or something a little bit different. So that's kind of personal taste. Um, I just stick to normal. I leave everything default and let's go ahead and generate something. So I'm going to do um, a person playing on the computer. Okay. Um, so yeah, you're going to want to sign in probably for most of the features. Uh, I haven't yet, but that's all right. So we're going to go ahead and click this little arrow here and it should start the generation, which might take a little bit depending on what you type then. All right, so you can see here, this is pretty photorealistic. It's literally just some guy playing on the computer. Um, or if you wanna do like, you could maybe even do a mascot logo. So let's do a mascot logo. We'll just type in mascot logo and see what we get. Keep in mind, this is gonna take multiple tries before you get what you want. So don't worry if the first one sucks. That's just how this is at the moment. So let's go ahead and see what this generates. Yeah, you can see this one's pretty bad, but if you get more specific with what you type, like let's do lion mascot logo, um, high quality. You can see this one's a lot better than the last one. Um, I've gotten better generations than this, but you're just gonna have to mess with it and take some time to find something good. If you guys want more in-depth tutorials on these things, let me know. This one I know better than the next one I'm about to show you, which is Doll E. So this one I just found out about today. There is a paid version, which is $15 a month. I believe you only get like 50 credits on this before you have to pay for it, which kind of sucks. But these are like really high quality stuff compared to the last one. So let's go ahead and try the lion mascot on this one. All right. So you can see here, these are actually really, really good compared to the last one. They're really high quality, which almost makes it worth paying. I am not sponsored, by the way. I just think these are really good. So I definitely recommend this one over the last one for art, but I believe the last one is really good for like, I mean, art, but in a different way, like, I don't know, like cityscapes and things like that. But when you want to make like actual designs, I feel like this one's better. If you guys want more detail on these AIs, let me know in the comments below and I'll make more videos on this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.